Hello, this is a short video explaining how I have fixed the boards. I uh, was going to send out 10 of them and I've sent out 10 of them and I don't have any more left so please don't ask for more boards. This video is about the uh, making of them and the problems I had and how I fixed it. So please enjoy the video. And the video clips are a bit old so now it's October and videos are from like two months ago or so. so I've been making like a few of these. And then I need to make the rest or the last one. So it's very, I wouldn't say boring, but I mean, filming this is, is a hard to film and solder at the same time because you need the arms and everything to be in the correct position. So, so. So what I figure out after I rotated it, rotated it correctly, I can just um, I don't have to see how much hair and how much hair is. I have to move it. I just look at the alignment. I find that uh, much better. <laughs> so because if it's aligned on all four corners, then it's probably in the middle. So yeah, that looks about right. So I will do that. Uh, I will add more flux soon, but take a bit of solder, just touch the corner, and if it moves, I have to like adjust it a little bit. But um, and then when I'm happy with that, I move to the next corner down here, and you can see it can move if I push it a little bit. So still, I can improve it a little bit. But after you have done those two, you can't improve anymore, so <laughs> that's why I do one first, then the second, and then happy. So. Or else you get, you can just, or you have to desolder it, and uh, yeah, that's time consuming, so. <laughs> so, uh, what I figure out here is that I need to spread it out first. Or else I will get uh, solder joints like this, and then I can start dragging. Uh, now the dragging in action is not that important, but it's faster, so you can do it like this also. But it's important to let um, the flux activate. So then go in the tip again. Uh, or else the uh, tin won't stick so well, so... Corner... You can see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the solder is leaking up on the pin. That's what you want. So... Okay, now it's not doing it. So a little bit more, if I take too much, it will start bridging. So. So I will inspect this in a um, microscope later. So don't remember if I flux this part, but uh, the more the better actually. <laughs> or if you take too much, it may be cool down the tip though. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. So there. Whack it in there. I just spread it around with because then I don't have so much on the tip when I drag. So, looks like this one was dry. Okay, now we have a little... Let's see if you can see that. But now we have a bridge here. You can try uh, pulling it away, like this. That works. Or you can use the um, solder braid. So yeah, I think I need to celebrate for this one. So <laughs> probably my hand is in the way. Another reason why I didn't film all the other ones. <laughs> so, there you go. There you go. 
don't know if you can see that. Maybe I can move the camera a bit. No, then the camera is in the way. Because this is an iPad, so I... Um, <laughs> yeah, but this one is done now. So, so yeah, so... We will show you... I will show you now. I've taken all of them, actually. Uh, we'll show you later. The results. So. so this is the one I made before. So I had to do some modification because um, there's different footprints here than the original because the original has smaller footprints. You can see. So this is the hand solder version. So I was thinking, oh, there's some more footprints maybe that are different. Well, yeah. There are. So why is this happening? I don't know. So you have this uh, C1 over there, and then you can see C1 over there. I really enjoy uh, the spacing here. I wonder why the hell they have to have this so close. So it's the same thing with the LEDs, because it's very easy to solder them the wrong way. So I have this uh, on diode setting. I think just uh, take a note from beforehand that uh, red goes on red. Yeah, so red goes on red on left side and then so and just check like this. Go around. Check, 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 check. Then I know I soldered it the correct way, and then uh, I soldered the other side. So first I just soldered one side. I do actually check the underside of the LED, because you can also see there which direction it goes, but uh, that's just one of the things that can go wrong. So you may be wondering why I have so much stuff on my table when I'm just programming this. So these are for the uh, giveaway, so I have ten of those. And I have programmed a lot, but I also have a lot that have been programmed. So I was thinking, why the heck, what the heck is going on? So, <laughs> but in the Mini Pro, uh, you have, or when you program, you use a hex file. So the hex file is the data you put into the microcontrollers. So this is the data. But the fuse bits, which are setting clock and uh, watchdog and stuff like that it's not in the hex, hex file so I have to thank uh, Juan for that so and uh, also some other guys anyway <laughs> um, you have thinker and then there was another guy up here yeah where did he go mm. yeah CJ Scalar so Anyway, these bits has to be set or else we have a problem. Now, uh, if you look at an Arduino, you have a crystal. So that has an external clock. Now, since these bits are not set in this program, it might change the default values inside the microcontroller. So the default is to run from internal oscillator and you can see this board has no oscillator so so what happened is um, I programmed them and then I lost them like they didn't work half of them did work so I don't know what happened there and um, yeah so the thing was that one was so dirty <laughs> so to get them back to life I read online that you can since it expects an external clock because when you change these you can get the external clock and that was was happened uh, I took an Arduino and I feed out one kilohertz from there into the button over there so that's the X tall pin and then you can program so I had a lot of problems I thought many many of my boards were dead like half of them but they came back to life after I fed them in there again and set these manually so so how do you know which uh, bits to use well it's the default values 
you can go in on uh, GitHub on the project for Nunchuck uh, source code and uh, you have make file and it says 62d9 and ff so if you go back here you can see down here 62d9 ff so that's working so and, and that's also the default values i've checked so yeah so that's cool and you can also look at the data sheet sheet if you want to know what this means uh, basically it means uh, 8 megahertz internal oscillator so yeah so after fixing this you can see we have another problem on some of these boards it's just flashing so I have a board which I need to fix here because there's a trace going into that one which is not supposed to because the footprint changed for some reason so, so I'll be right, right back with the budge and you can see that it works so you can see the budge over there from there to there and I'll cut here and here to not short this one and then let's bring in power and you can see at once it's working Single flash, double flash, off. Ha. So that's it.